I think the key area to understand the ethos of, uh, of the company Sonomatic is to understand our history. That in the late 70s, 78, 79, the company was uh, initiated to develop, manufacture and supply automated ultrasonic inspection systems. We pride ourselves in having developed our own technology, we develop our own electronics, our own manipulators, our own software. It's developed by our own people for our own use. So this developed a, a service arm using this equipment that we developed in-house to, to offer, provide this inspection capability. I'm responsible for the integrity support services business within Sonomatic. This is a business unit that was started in 2006, basically recognising the important role that inspection plays in assuring integrity of equipment. Our head office is located in Warrington in the northwest of England. Our main operational centre is in Aberdeen, servicing particularly the offshore North Sea market. We also have operational centres in Abu Dhabi, in Charlotte in the USA, and we have three locations in South Africa. The time of flight is a, is, a, is a wonderful inspection tool for using its, its inherent uh, accuracies and the quality and the speed of the inspection that you can, you can perform with a Toft inspection, where you again generate this hard copy image of the component under inspection, but you're, you're also imaging the actual edges of that flaw, the shape of that flaw, the size of that flaw, and it has been used in various round robin exercises and it always been proven to be the most accurate method for both the detection and sizing of, of indications. Rather than just carrying out an inspection for the sake of an inspection, we try and make it as meaningful as possible, taking best advantage of the, uh, the inspection technology that we have. We've carried out non-intrusive inspection assessment and planning exercises on over 200 pressure equipment items in both the UK and Norwegian sectors of the North Sea. We're delivering the right product that helps people to manage their assets in the best possible manner. So we're in a very unique position that we were offering automated ultrasonic uh, inspection field services but we control the development of the product along the lines of, of the results of the data or the findings that we're, we're actually getting from the field. We've enjoyed uh, terrific growth. We're growing at a rate of around 80% per annum and we see that growth rate continuing well into the future. I think what should be understood is that uh, a core activity of Sonomatic is the provision of these automated ultrasonic inspection services and our key personnel have 15, 20 years experience in, in providing that service in the field. They understand a good inspection, they understand a bad inspection, they know when it should be corrected, they know what they're doing, they know what actions to take if they find something that's maybe not been predicted during the inspection. And that's the key area, that's the quality of what we're offering. We have that unique experience. Determining the overall condition of wells or that there is no corrosion inside pipes or vessels, are paramount to safe oil and gas operations. Ultrasonic time of flight diffraction, known as TOFT, is a fast, reliable, accurate and cost-effective means of ascertaining the integrity of oil and gas pressure systems and structures, more than any other currently available alternative method. TOFT monitors diffracted signals at the edges of defects, that directly relate to the defect's true size and position. The technique allows for the detection of manufacturing and in-service defects such as slag, lack of fusion, well root erosion, hydrogen damage and cracks. The technique can be deployed on welds and plate. To explain the principle in simple form, if a stone is thrown into a pond in which a log is floating, when the ripples reach the log, they are diffracted or bent around the ends. Toft works by treating a fault in steel as if it were a log, by recording where the diffractions occur. 
In the same way as the log is affected by the ripples of water, a discontinuity, or crack, absorbs the energy of the ultrasonic sound wave and then emits it out at the defect's extremities. Toft uses two probes that are positioned equidistantly from the centre of the area being inspected on a simple frame, usually at 45 degrees, 60 degrees or 70 degrees to each other. Scanning is typically done parallel to the weld being inspected, which is called a D-scan. The transmitter sends out ultrasound at an angle, and if the sound is obstructed by a defect, some of the sound energy is diffracted at its edges, and the receiving probe detects this signal. The system sensitivity is set on a calibration block of a similar thickness to the test piece, which allows optimal detection of diffracted signals from indications and even grain boundaries in welds. When compared to traditional techniques, the probability of detection, POD, is up to 90% for flat or spherical defects, compared to 52% for regularly used conventional techniques. Unlike conventional techniques, defect detection does not depend on orientation. Any orientation of indication can be detected. Defects from plus or minus 0.5 to 1 mm can be detected in wall thicknesses ranging from 6 to 400 mm, dependent on application, and in temperatures from minus 10 to plus 400 degrees Celsius. A dead zone is apparent at the scan surface. This is largely dependent on the thickness of the test piece and the focal depth used for the primary beam. This effect reduces the resolution of defects within this area. However, surface breaking defects would affect the travel path of the ultrasound between the two probes, identifying a problem for remedial action. By varying the transducer type, size, frequency, separation and number of scans, the system can be best suited to the thickness, geometries and materials. Here is how Toft works in practice. If there is no fault in the weld, the system records the lateral wave of the sound travelling across the surface to the other probe and the reflected signal from the back wall echo. These two signals are used to determine the thickness of the material scanned. If there were a defect, this response would appear between the lateral wave and back wall responses to allow for depth and length measurement. The signals are time-resolved by use of simple geometric calculations and output as a graphical image. This image shows A. Lateral wave B. Back wall echo C. Upper crack tip echo D. Lower crack tip echo E. Shear wave response Every millimetre, an A scan is fired through the steel between the transmitting and receiving transducers for the full length of the scan, using an encoder to ensure accurate measurement. The individual A scans are stacked together to give a 2D real-time representation of the thickness of the material across the length of the scan, and the accurate size and position of any flaws present in the scan. A typical application of time-of-flight diffraction on welds of mature assets is for the detection of weld root erosion, WRE. This is the preferential attack on the weld, where Toft can accurately identify and monitor the erosion and corrosion for any propagation. Through the correct application of the technique to specific requirements, enough information about the state of the material is normally obtained from a single pass. The technique is a rapid way of acquiring precise data. Toft scanning can be undertaken online without shutting down plant and does not require the intensive and costly personnel involvement that is involved with radioactive inspection approaches. When compared to most other techniques, Toft has a higher level of reliability and accuracy and a permanent record is produced, unlike any other conventional approach. Years of expertise are required not only to fully understand the inspection technology, but how to interpret the data. Correct application is also essential. That's where Sonomatic's 25 years of expertise, experience and track record play a big part in providing the best service available when it comes to Toft scanning capabilities. 
The Nautilus 2 subsea scanner is one example of providing an innovative solution to a seemingly insurmountable task. How to perform full-scale toft scans on installation legs and pipes subsea. The diver deployed Nautilus 2 can quickly and accurately survey vertical or horizontal legs and pipes to ascertain their integrity under harsh conditions. Once attached to the pipe to be surveyed, the Nautilus 2 is remotely operated to scan a section of pipe perpendicular to its attachment collar. It then rotates in stages 360 degrees around the pipe to produce a complete picture of the integrity of the section surveyed. It can then be repositioned to scan another section until the survey is complete. This can be accommodated on 4 inch to 36 inch diameters in a full collar and a 48 inch and 52 inch in a half collar. Two other innovations currently being developed are the deep sea ROV deployed scanner and the semi automated manifold scanner. When conditions dictate that diver deployment of scanners is not possible or uneconomic, an ROV may be used to deploy the deep sea scanner. It will be delivered to the necessary depth by means of a basket. The scanner is designed to be easily handled and positioned by an ROV without special tooling and will perform the same tasks as the diver deployed version. The ROV Nautilus will deploy the following inspection techniques. Toft, corrosion mapping, automated pulse echo. The diver deployed manifold scanner is designed to operate in the restricted spaces that manifolds present that would prevent deployment of a normal system. Once offered up to the pipework in question, it attaches by gripping the pipe with its arms. Aimed specifically at 4 to 8 inch pipe, it performs a 360 degree scan in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction before moving forward 5 millimeters and then performing another 360 degree scan in the opposite direction that prevents the sensor cable wrapping around the pipe. After it has scanned the full length of the pipe in question, it will travel back to its start point for removal. The manifold scanner will deploy the following inspection techniques. Toft, corrosion mapping, automated pulse echo.